have some kind of pet at home? Well, imagine I'm undergoing chemical experimentation. Awful thing to think about, right? Something you love being experimented on? About 100 million animals die each year in experimental labs. About 50 million people in the world own some type of pet in their home, and I'm sure you do too. You can't even imagine what they'd be going through if they underwent chemical experimentation. You can help change this and stop animal testing. I take part in helping PETA, also known as People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, to send out emails and write different ways that companies can test their products. Today, I'm going to explain the history of animal testing, what's going on exactly in today's society with animal cruelty and testing, and I'm going to tell you what you can do to help these poor, defenseless animals who have no say in what is going on with their bodies. First, let's look at the history and the beginning of animal cruelty. The very beginning. Animal cruelty had actually emerged way before our time. As early as the 17th century is where some animal cruelty began. Vivisection, defined on Merriam-Webster Dictionary, as the activity or practice of doing scientific or medical experiments on live animals was first performed by Aristotle. But the man who was known as the father of vivisection was known as Galen. Galen would sever, spine, sever, sever spinal cords of animals to show how paralysis works, tie uteruses together to show how urination works, and publicly dissect pigs. One of the first things that was tested on animals were cosmetics. In the article, Animal Welfare and Ethics on Cosmetic Testing in 2007, the author wrote about a woman in 1933 who used a, who used a mascara called Lash Lure and it burnt her corneas and left her blind. Since then, cosmetic testing is a common practice to ensure the safe use of cosmetics and it will probably use far into the future. Even with all the alternatives to animal testing, animal cruelty is still going on in today's society. Now, let's see what the Drake's test really is. This test is the most common test on animals for cosmetic purposes. This test was named after John Drake's in 1944, since he was the first person to perform this horrifying test on the innocent animals. According to the article, Animal Welfare and Ethics on Cosmetic Testing in 2007, Albino rabbits are used in this experiment just because their skin is more sensitive than that of regular rabbits. According to that same article, liquids, flakes, granules, and powdered substances are placed in one eye of the rabbit, and the experimenter reports the progressive deterioration of that eye, while the other one remains a constant. The second test I'm going to talk about is the LD50 test. LD stands for lethal dose, and LD50 means a single dose that is needed to kill 50% of the animals that are used in the experiment. According to Brian Gunn in the article, LD50 toxicity test on animals. This test is used to test the toxicity of household items or products. This test goes on for 14 days, assuming that the animals not, have not died yet in those two weeks. Isn't all of this disgusting to hear? Some people don't think that they can do anything to help these animals. But there are ways in which you can. You may be asking yourself, now how do I help them? Well, you can brush up on your animal testing information. The more you know, the more power you have to help these helpless animals that have no say in what is happening to them. For starters, don't buy products from companies that test on animals. There are hundreds and hundreds of other companies, cosmetic or not, that do not test on animals. Here are just a few of the cosmetic companies that you may have heard of that don't test on animals. You can write letters to companies that do test on animals saying that you know what they've been doing and they need to stop. You can donate money to PETA or other organizations to help get animals out of the running for chemical experimentation. Don't buy cosmetics from China because the Chinese government requires cosmetic products to be tested on animals in order to sell them in China. We've looked at how animals have become the innocent victims of animal testing. We've not seen even half the horror that they are put through. I hope that by telling you a little of the history behind animal testing and what goes on behind closed doors of the experiments, 
that you will make a change and not buy any products from companies that test on animals. Dr. Ronald W. Davis from Stanford University had once said, researchers are so ingrained in trying to cure mice that they forgot they're trying to cure humans. 